yeah, you're not making this easy for me to give you my money, so I'm not going to give you any money. Done. End of it. Over it. And they said, you submitted a bad review. Please keep us updated if you change your mind. And I'm like, why the fuck would I change my mind? Are you joking? Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a scammy, scammy website that I bought a product from that hopefully after I tell you my story, you will not buy a product from. I don't know if it's just this website or that vendor. I don't know, but let's just get into it. So, as you probably saw in my last video, I like Louis Vuitton. I have a few bags from Louis Vuitton, and they're real, and there was a website called iOffer. Some of you are probably familiar with it, and they had a lot of men's Louis Vuittons on there. And I was like, those are probably going to be fake, but my husband doesn't really have anything like that. So what if I just got a fake one to see if he would like it as a surprise? So I went on iOffer after I found their website and I saw a couple things and I was like, oh, the pictures look amazing. Let me look at the reviews of the sellers. And if you've never been on iOffer, it's kind of like a weird version of, really? Mommy's talking. Shushy. So ridiculous. They're like this big. I think they're huge. Shut up! iOffer is kind of like eBay in a way. There's different sellers on there, so it's not like the actual website is selling, it's the vendors. And what you do, kind of like eBay, is you would look at the reviews to see if they were trustworthy, if they shipped on time, if the products were good. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I can get my husband a bag. So what I did was I was finding the perfect travel bags. We were getting ready to travel, and I found a big black... Uh, Louis Vuitton, I don't even know what you want to call it, one of those big guy totes, put a picture somewhere around here. And I found a vendor that was selling multiple of these that had amazing reviews, like a 99% rate ratings, right? So I'm looking at the reviews and they're saying, you know, great bags, great products, shipped efficiently, the whole thing. So I was like, okay, well, this, this sounds trustworthy. So I go to put it in my cart. And at the same time, I see the seller has another bag that I really like and it's the white Mirakami and it's a bag that I was like I know this one's gonna be fake because I had never seen that style before but I was like that would be really good for travel and then I wouldn't be taking my good Louis Vuittons with me overseas because we were going on an international trip and I was like well that's perfect so I put this bag into my cart stupid it's just stupid just don't don't buy fake bags I'm just little PSA there just don't because you're gonna be disappointed you're going to be disappointed by any replica but I thought for traveling why not we're gonna be on international waters and then I don't have to take my good stuff so was the theory so I went and I had to make it into two separate purchases so the first purchase was going to be the one that popped up first which ended up being the white Mirakami that I wanted to get that I knew was gonna be a replica and nothing like my real bags but I was like okay okay it's all right let's just do this so I'm logging in my information and everything, and it's, it's going through. And at first, it kind of packed back as finish your information. I'm like, I already finished my information, but I'll hit submit again. I'll double check it, hit submit, it went through, and it was like, congratulations, you've made your order, or whatever the hell it said. I was like, okay, great. And then I went to make the next purchase, which was going to be for my husband. And I filled out the information, filled out the information, hit the submit button. Why they make you do this twice, I have no idea. And then it came up with, sorry, website error, we can't process this. Like, what the hell are you talking about? I just did one like two minutes ago. So I tried it again, no such luck. And there is no support on iOffer. So there is nobody like manning the warehouse. There is nobody there taking care of the inmates in the asylum because there's no one you can talk to. In their help section, they actually tell you to tweet at them or to check out their other social media. And that's what I ended up having to do. So I went to their social media multiple times, tweeted them, went on Facebook, private messaged them. Finally, I would get some responses saying, well, it's probably just your computer. Try a different device. They told me that three different times. I went to three different devices. And at this point, I was running out of time because our trip was coming up. And I knew it was going to be at least a two-week lead time because it was going to be coming from overseas. So I was like, well, crap. 
and I told my husband, well, this was supposed to be a gift for you, a surprise, I'm sorry, but let's check out the bag that I end up getting because it was already supposed to be shipping and see what the quality is to even see if we want to get you a bag too. And he was like, okay, that sounds good. He's not a big Louis Vuitton fan, so he didn't care. So, week goes by. Nothing in my email. Nothing in my I offer account. And I'm just like, when is he going to ship this? So I go in and I check my messages and the seller said to me that he only wanted to accept PayPal, even though my credit card had already run and gone through, and that he wanted to, me, what do you want me to switch it? And I was like, how the hell am I going to switch this? I've already, it's already gone through. I called my credit card company. They said it had already processed. So I was like, um, no. And I messaged this person back very nicely and was like, well, I, my credit card payment has already gone through. What do you suggest we do from here? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happens. Days go by. Nothing happens. A week goes by. Nothing happens. So again, I have to tweet, message, and Facebook I offer because again there is no support to help you if you have an issue with a seller so finally somebody gets back to me and with my my order number they're like oh he should have shipped this by now we will message him so they message him and tell him that the you know the customer has already purchased this product you should be shipping this please do this quickly I think if they don't, then something happens to them as far as their cellular ratings go. I don't know. But I already knew I was not going to give this guy a great rating because it had been practically a week and a half, two weeks, and I had not even heard anything from this person. So after iOffer got involved, he messaged back in iOffer's little messaging thing and said, Oh, I'll ship this promptly. Thank you so much. Trying to act all nice. Like, I'm like, you either forgot about me or you just weren't going to ship my product after I paid for it. So at this point, I was already like super annoyed with iOffer. I was like, I doubt I'm ever going to use them again unless this product is amazing. Well, let me tell you something. You get what you pay for. There's a reason that the other Louis Vuittons that I own are great quality. They've lasted for years because I have, I have a white mirror commie bag that has the correct coloring, the quick, quick, has the right coloring, the correct layout, the whole nine yards on it. I have one. So I knew what to compare it to, at least with color-wise, and I didn't expect it to be perfect. Again, I knew it was going to be a replica, designer, triple A rating, blah, blah, blah. I already knew this. But what I got, I was so pissed. It's, it looks, I don't know if I'll be able to find a picture because I'll have to go back to iOffer to see if I can find anything like this, but, uh, it looks nothing like the picture. The coloring is off, and in the image, the coloring was correct. Um, it just, I haven't even taken it out of any of the wrappings yet because I've just, it was useless to me at this point because I was annoyed with it. I'm pretty sure the buckle is, well, it's already tarnished, but it's already broken. I don't even know if you can see that or anything. It's just awful. The coloring's not right. The locks are wrong. I don't even know if you can see it, but the whole, I was just really disappointed, frustrated. And at this point I was like, I am never working with this website again. I'm not going to do it. I could never get my husband's bag. I even tried going through a different seller on the website because I was like, okay, I will go through this guy. Maybe this guy's the problem. I'll find somebody else selling the same bag. And then I did. And the website still wouldn't let the payment go through. So one, I offer has a horrible payment process. I don't know what's going on if they were in the middle of an update or something. But I had nothing but bad luck with that. And then the product I got looked nothing like the image, which I expected it to be a little bit off. Like, I didn't expect the correct greens to be in there or whatever. But I didn't expect for the lock to be tarnished or to not properly work. The inside of the bag is obviously not what it would normally be. This isn't even like, ah, ah. I made the choice to get it. I knew it was just going to be a travel bag if I used it. But so annoyed so annoyed. So I was like, I'm going to leave this guy a review because we live in the era and age of reviews and how you, I don't want this to happen to somebody else. You know what I mean? We live in an era where you're supposed to review things and trust the product because we're buying things online. You have to be able to trust that. And if I can't, I'm going to let somebody else know so they don't buy the same crap I bought. Like an idiot. So I go on iOffer after I receive this terrible bag and I 
put in my ratings and I just say in there when they say well why are you rating at this score I just said look it took about two weeks to even have them ship my bag because I had to get I offer involved to have him even pay attention to the fact that I already made a payment and didn't want to switch it to PayPal because I already paid couldn't buy my husband's bag I could never buy my husband's bag no payments went through no processing went through so I was already super annoyed and then by the time I got the product I got that thing so I left that review and I submitted it and I walked away and I said you submitted a bad review please keep us updated if you change your mind and I'm like why the fuck would I change my mind <laughs> are you joking no the whole experience was crap I couldn't get my husband's bag no matter how many times I tweeted you I couldn't get the proper shipping notifications until I had to get them involved finally which again I had to tweet them it's just stupid the customer service is awful the sellers Honestly, many of them have, they don't speak fluent English, which I didn't expect, but I did expect great customer service. I have bought internationally so many times and had wonderful customer service. I should not have to get, tweet anybody to get my fucking order sent. I'm sorry, I shouldn't. So the day after I send my not great review, I didn't blow the guy up, I didn't cuss in there, I was very diplomatically firm about it, and I was polite, but I was like, this is not great quality, or what, and the customer service was poor. End of story. And I kind of did a little dig at eye offer for being such a shitty website, but that's neither here nor there. The next day, I see an email, and it, that notifies me that there's a message in my eye offer. And I go to check it, and it's that seller. The seller who forgot I existed for about two weeks to send my product wanted to know why I gave him such a bad review, and he never said that he wanted to switch my payment forms to PayPal. Please change my review. And I was just like, did you read what's up in the comments? You said it three lines up that you wanted me to switch my payments. I'm like, are you kidding? No. 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 So I just didn't respond to that. What I wanted to do was screenshot what he had said and submit it, but their website won't let you do that because it's crap. I offer his website. It's not my favorite, obviously. So he messaged me again, I think two or three days later, again trying me to trying to get me to switch what my review of him was because he had a high rating and he didn't want his high rating to go down. But if you can't get back to me and you can't ship my product on time and you tell me you need me to ship my payment formats, I'm like, no, nope, nope, done done with it. I was done with it. So at that point I was done with iOffer and I was done with that seller. So I, that's my experience with iOffer. I've read tons of other people like, I had a great experience with them. I got this makeup. I got these shoes. I got this purse. I got this bag. There's some great experiences out there. I had a horrible experience not only with the seller but with the website itself. With there being no customer support. Payments not going through multiple times telling you to switch devices. I tried three different computers and my phone and a tablet and it still didn't work. Yeah, you're not making this easy for me to give you my money, so I'm not going to give you any money. Done. End of it. Over it. So, that's my experience with I offer. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever bought from them and had a good experience, because that would be comforting to hear, because maybe I'd want to revisit something if I wanted to get, I don't know, makeup brushes or something like that, but... Because they look like they have really cool stuff on there, and they, they zazz it up, and it looks all jazzy, and it looks like, oh, they have this, but it's only this much money. Whereas if you went to Mac, it would be this much money. And you're like, hmm, seems shady, but, you know, you think about it. You do. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helped you decide pretty much not to order from my offer, but you never know. Everyone's experiences are different. Bye friends, thank you for watching, and if you liked this video and would like to see more like it, please hit the like button and please subscribe.